D-Day, 1944, HMS Argonaut, C-61. We had a little list. Crisis on board the light cruiser HMS Argonaut, C-61, which had been providing naval gunfire support, including knocking out German bunkers and Tiger tanks. By the evening of D-Day, things were still rather hectic, and the ship had been thoroughly shaken by bombing and near misses from enemy shell fire. However, a thorough examination of the various compartments indicated that all were dry and intact. It was therefore all the more puzzling when at daylight next day the ship was listing at some 10 degrees to port, which of course did not help the accuracy of our gunfire. A further search by the damage control party reported that a very large provision room under the wardroom was completely flooded, up to some 10 feet deep. This would have presented no particular problem, as it only required us to switch on the pump fitted there to have the water cleared in quick time. Horror of horrors, the pump refused to switch on, so the damage control party was told to take down a portable pump and clear the compartment. With daybreak, the bombing and shelling had restarted, and our own 5.25 guns added to the shaking and noise. All in all, it was unpleasant there in the deep dark water, and one understood the reluctance of the untried party to stay down there long enough to achieve anything. I therefore changed into my rugger gear and took my store's chief petty officer down with me to help with the portable pump. When we had reduced the level sufficiently, I was able to dive down, unscrew the grill protecting the fitted pump, and to grope around to find out what was stopping it working. It was one dried broad bean. Then it was simple to replace the grill, switch on the pump, and quite soon the compartment was sufficiently cleared to get the ship upright again and fully operational. We later found that the flooding had occurred during the night, when the diesel generator in an adjacent flat had been switched on and the cooling water had flooded the compartment through a copper outflow pipe which passed through the compartment and had been fractured by a near miss. I put my CPO up for decoration and he was awarded a Distinguished Service Medal, the first decoration of this commission. That was an extract from Hemioc Memories, eyewitness accounts of World War II, 1939-1945, to 1945, and that was from Volume 1. Copyright 2014-2019, www.hemiocastle.uk. All rights reserved.